Hi everyone, this is a tutorial for the Black Elephant Advent Shawl and this is the start of wing two. So I've slipped, I returned my um, stitches from scrap yarn um, to my needles um, and I'm ready to unzip this provisional cast on that I used to start the, um, the lower I-cord edge. So you can orientate your needles like this so that you've got your stitches on your left needle. Your right needle is going to pick up um, the stitches from the provisional cast on. So I'll start by just undoing the end of that chain and then unzipping. And then I want to look for where those, I'm just picking up two stitches here. Okay, so I've picked up those two stitches from the crochet chain of my provisional cast on. I'm gonna slip them from right needle to left needle, and then I'm ready to start working row one of wing two. I'm gonna be working with color 11. As I've mentioned before, this yarn that I'm working with here is not the actual color 11. Um, I'm just using some uh, yarn from my stash at the moment to, to do these demonstrations for you. So you're gonna knit two, and then you're picking up and knitting one stitch into the very center of your uh, center triangle that you first worked. So here is that um, central stitch and you were working increases either side of that stitch. Trace that along to where it meets the I-cord edge, which is just here. And you're gonna pick up and knit into that stitch to create the third stitch of the I-cord edge here. So pick up a knit there. You've now got three stitches for your I-cord edge. And you're gonna start as you did for wing one by slipping those back to left needle, knit three, and you do this three times. This is the first time. So for the second time, slip these three stitches back to your left needle, knit three again. And for the third time, the last time, slip them back to your left needle and knit three again. Now you continue with row one and you start with a yarn over twice. That's to give enough slack to this diagonal I cord edge on the bottom half of the triangle. And then you're knitting to the last three stitches, make one right and then knit three. That takes you to the end of row one of wing two.